Okay, so at the minute, all our SQL queries have only taken information from one table. But let's just say that we want to use data from more than one table. So for example, let's just say that we wanted to show each instructor along with the course titles and the dates. So we would actually need, let's just say we just show the instructor name. So, but making sure that it's coming from the correct field, uh, sorry, the correct table. So this one would come from over here. And then we'd also need the course title and the date which would come from the course table. So we need these fields here. Now what we could say is that we could have a query that just says, if I just write this down at the bottom here. So what we're going to do is just write out what we think should be the SQL statement down here. So if I just we're going to say is we would expect to say something like select and I'm going to use what they call dot notation where I say the table name dot field name so I'm going to say instructor dot name I'm going to say course dot title And the last field I'm going to need is from the course table and it's course dot date. And our next part, just as we've done before, is to say what table we expect these from. So we will say that from instructor. and course. And just to kind of elaborate on that dot notation a little bit more, this part is the table and this part is the field. So if I ran that query, I would expect to get something like this. And just a reminder, our query was to select instructor.name, course.title, course.date from instructor and course. Now unfortunately our actual results would be this and you'll notice that there are 20 records there. And the reason for that is because we have basically got one instructor and then they are running every possible course and then the next instructor and they are running every possible course and so on and so on because what is done is we asked it for the instructor and the date and the title from both tables so what we've actually got is what they call a Cartesian product so basically if we were to draw it as a diagram it would look something like this so if we had just for example if we just even number these just for um, so if we say that instructors 1, 2, 3, and this is course A, B and C. What's actually happening is that we are getting course 1, instructor 1 with course B, instructor 1 with course C. Then we're getting instructor 2 with all of its courses. And then we're also getting that one, that one and that one. So what we actually want to do is to only fetch these results here where there's a result in both instructor and course. So if we just colour that part in there, this is what we, we're going to use what we call a join. And in that five, we're only going to use what's called an equi join. There are more joins than this, but they are out with the scope of the course. So if we look back at our original query, what we said there was that we're going to select instructor.name. We're going to select course.title and the course.date from the relevant tables, instructor and course. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a join in. And the join we're going to use is called an equijoin. And what we're going to say is that where course.instructorid equals instructor.instructorid. So it's basically going to catch that instructor ID, which will allow us to pull 
the instructor name, which means for that record there, we'll only get one result. And that would give us our, inspe our expected results, which are down here, of our five records with the instructor names from the instructor table. And a reminder that when you use dot notation, that that part is the table, and that part is the field. Now that is useful for if there are, for example, a staff and a pupil table.